Hello and welcome to Youth TV. This is a short review of a new product which turned up in the post today. So this is it here. Doesn't look much from this distance, but we'll have a good look at it. It's a Engineer SS02 solder sucker. I'm sure we've all used things like this in the past, which are fine, but I'm going to do a short review of this, which I think is brilliant. So this uh, arrived today. This is an engineer solder sucker made in Japan, model number SS-02. Now, in the past I've always used things like this, which are perfectly good. I've had this a long time, as you can see from the condition of it. But um, if you've used this before, you know that the suction on them isn't brilliant. So if you're trying to solder, desolder a component and try to hold a solder sucker and get it close enough to get a good pull on the solder once it's molten, it's not brilliant. I saw this and I thought, that's good. Not only is it much smaller, as you can see, so it uh, fits in the hand more comfortably and it's a lot less distance to stretch to put the plunger down. You can do it with one hand. But the interesting thing is this. If you can see, it has a little silicon um, tube over the end of the sucking nozzle. This is heat resistant, so you can push it up against your soldering iron and it won't melt. So just to give you an example, here's a circuit board. Let's just say we wanted to zoom in slightly, desolder a component. Oops, a bit too far. Let's try there. Um, so we have a soldering iron. Let's just try and find something big. Let's go for this little spot here. So you can apply your solder tip. Sorry. Let's just get it about there. And normally, with the old design, you can see there's quite a gap between the, uh, the solder tip and the suction tip, which means there's a loss of suction between those two points. But with this new design, you can heat the solder pad and then actually apply a little silicon tube over the solder. You can see that. You can even touch the uh, soldering iron without worrying of it melting and then obviously apply your suction and that gives a much cleaner powerful suction than the old designs so um, let's actually demonstrate that live Let me get my soldering iron heating up <clears throat> and we'll do two we'll, as we happen to have two uh, similar. No, I think that's about as close as I'm going to get with this camera. So let's get that in the centre. So we'll, first of all, we'll desolder the left one using the original design. Let's prepare my solder tip. Now this is quite a big solder tip. I'm waiting for a new tip arriving. So we'll use the you know, the old design first and let's desolder uh, this one here. So we'll apply some heat. As you can see it's liquid. But then we'll put the this in and see what we get. Not brilliant. So let's compare that with the new one. And let's do this one to the right and see how differently. So again, apply the heat. So we have molten solder. This time we'll touch the new tip. And you can see the difference. That is almost completely free of solder now. Compared with the previous one, which still has quite a bit of solder on there. So we'll just clean it up with this. Don't forget to push the button down. Much better. 
I think you'll agree. So, so I like this. It's it's nice. It's it's made of aluminium. It's got a nice finish to it. Nice contrasting red push button. I like the fact that you can do it with one hand. It's small, small. That fits in the hand comfortably. Uh, it does come with a an extra tube, which you could uh, trim down. Probably get maybe eight to ten little replacement tips there so should last a long time so highly recommended that's the engineer solder sucker model number ss02 and it's japanese which usually means good quality so i'll put a link in the description if you want to get a hold of one and if you like this little review please give me a thumbs up a like and a close click the subscribe button until next time thanks